The Freshwater District was formed in the early 50s uh, by the Louisiana Legislature to mainly provide fresh water from the Mississippi River uh, into Bayou Lafourche for uh, kind of three main goals. One is for the source water for the purification facilities that service 300,000 people in Ascension, Assumption, Lafourche, and Terrebonne. Also the businesses that utilize that potable water, specifically Port Fouchon. And then of course, we have began to increase that freshwater supply in an attempt to combat saltwater intrusion, uh, which has really attacked the estuaries of the lower end of Lafourche and Terrebonne. So just north of where we are, probably a little less than a mile north of where we are, uh, further up the bayou, there's a pump facility on the river batcher uh, of the Mississippi River on the flood side. It's a, a 450 uh, cubic feet per second capacity pump station that currently operates pretty much at full capacity year round. There are some instances where we get some weather conditions that we, we pull back some of that, but currently what you're seeing is, is right at that 425 to 430 cubic feet per second, which equates to about uh, 215 to 225,000 gallons per minute. We're putting more fresh water into the bayou on a daily basis than we have probably since the, the inception of the freshwater district. There's no redundancy in that station, so it puts us really in a vulnerable state in that we have no backup capacity. We have a, a mechanical failure, a lightning strike, a spill in the river, anything that would cause us to have to scale back our pump capacity then you'll start seeing drops in water surface elevation and, and there's some you know, negative impacts to that. So it's really critical that we put as much fresh water in the bayou as we possibly can, mainly to protect that source, but also to move as much fresh water downstream as we possibly can to keep that saltwater wedge out down in Lower Lafourche. We have a project that's in the final phase of engineering that's going to more than double the capacity, so it's a thousand CFS uh, pump station minimum with the ability to expand to 1,500 cubic feet per second uh, of pumping capacity and that's being proposed just uh, downriver from the existing station. Currently our focus on, on managing the water really is designated from here in Donaldsonville down to the intercoastal. We have two existing structures which help us control that. There's a structure down in Lockport and then there's an existing weir structure um, in Thibodeau. Currently under construction is a structure just north of Labadeeville. Really the intent of those structures is for us to continuously flow as much water as we can on a daily basis, but in instances of low pumping conditions, low uh, pumping capacity, we can close those structures and completely shut off the flow in the bayou from Lockport uh, all the way up to Donaldsonville. And then the other structure that'll uh, remain in place is the structure down in Lockport, which will shut and prevent further flow downstream. And that'll protect the water supply for the, for the residents um, in Terrebonne and Lafourche and, and the city of Thibodeau. The structure in Lockport kind of has a multi-purpose. In the instance of a low pumping condition or a situation where we can't get as much water as, as we would like down the bayou, we can shut it, it creates a reservoir above it and protects the water supply. But also, its, it's actual original function was to act as a saltwater barrier. So we can actually close that structure and prevent further migration of water from the south to the north. In the early 2000s, there were a couple of those salinity events. There were some issues where uh, high salinity water was making its way up the bayou and, and really starting to threaten the water purification facilities in Lower Lafourche Parish. That's an extremely critical water supply. That's actually water that's uh, loaded up onto offshore supply vessels and shipped uh, hundreds of miles offshore uh, to service the deep water Gulf of Mexico uh, exploration and production, which provides you know, approximately 18 to 20 percent of the nation's oil supply. So that, that water, potable water source right there in Lockport is extremely critical for the economy of this whole entire region, state, and, and even the nation. But in 2008, obviously Hurricane Gustav hit uh, and really opened the eyes uh, of, a, of all the residents along Bayou Lafourche. The bayou essentially went septic. That was kind of that crowning moment where 
we can't let this happen again. And that really sparked a lot of the improvements that began to take place. So immediately following that, the state of Louisiana through CPRA allocated $20 million to dredge the first five miles, so which is the segment of the bayou that we're in now. And that project was completed in 2011. So we dredged about five and a half miles of the channel and then that really kind of got the momentum going. Since 2010, over $135 million worth of improvements have been made to Bayou Lafourche. A lot of work still left to do, but certainly some significant improvements and, and we can certainly see the benefits of those improvements to the Bayou for sure.